No, straight. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. Alright, this is community... I can't remember the other bit, but whatever. New year. And today I'm going to be talking about the break bias bar that you can... Most, most of the time you'll be finding it on a formula. You won't be finding it on a normal car because most people can't be bothered. It's something to... It moves the pressure from the front brakes and the rear brakes so to your preference. So, for example, if you for a Formula One when they first go off, have a lot of fuel in the back. They have the engine near the back; it's a mid-engine for balance. But they have a lot of fuel and all that, or a lot of weight on the back, so they have more pressure going to the back and less to the front. And during the race, as they go on, they have a little cable that comes to the side of the car, and they can twist it, lever it, depends what they do. It might be hooked up to the uh, steering wheel so they can change it there but they'll change it depending on the load and that'll make the brakes less efficient if there's less weight at the back because you don't need it you don't want them to lock up or more efficient if you've got more weight at the back they use a, you won't find this in normal cars you have a thing called a brake pressure regulator this is like a little thing that sits under the back of the car it's like a spring valves and all that so the more load you have the more pressure will be given to the rear brakes. This is like sent to, through the ECU to change the hydraulic. But anyway, this is about the brake 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 bias bar. Anyway, fuck where's a pencil? Pen, that would do. Fuck it, got something here. Let's just draw something. If the pen would work. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little shitty drawing. Well, I'll just do something as well here. I am a better drawer. This is just a quick thing. Obviously, it's on an old box I found, but anyway. Pretend this is the pedal here. You would have something connected here, a little cable. That would be connected to the front. Uh, the front side of the brake bias bar and basically what that does is your, your little cable that I was talking about, the lever that would build up tension or relieve tension and that will pull this side up and these these two cylinders will be going into um, two separate master cylinders they have two separate master cylinders and um, on the formulas their brake setup would be a front and rear split and for the reason that they can control the front and rear brakes so that would pull that up and that would release pressure from the front side and put more pressure into the rear side as this side will go down making less of space and creating more pressure Second thing turn back on so that will create more pressure in the rear side so yeah it, it basically moves pressure from each side this bit here is on a pivot so that can move up and down like that well up and down like this it would move and it will create will move pressure from front to rear or rear to front depending on your preference on the load of your car and everything like that basically it's just a manual way of doing it and it allows Formula 1 people so you see like for example Jensen Button if he's driving he puts his hand on the side it's most likely changing the brake bias bar to the preference of his car so he doesn't lock up and stuff like that and it's a little bit more of a mechanical way it reduces weight that's why because otherwise you have to have a brake pressure regulator you have to have the ECU will set up to it you have to have all the other cables and springs and all that it's more weight that they don't want to use so basically it's just an easy way of using a brake bias bar and remember it's always connected it's always connected to the front brake side of the brake bias bar I don't know if I can explain a bit more on this so if this is a brake bias bar this is the front this is the rear and this is the cable We'll pull that and it pivots like this. It pivots like that. So one side will go down, that side that side will have more pressure, that side will not. If you get what I mean now. And that is pretty much a brake bias bar. It's a very simple thing. It's connected to the uh the brake pedal 
and yeah it's it's a pretty simple thing everyone thinks it's quite complicated but it's really not it's quite simple really and that is a break bias bar i hope this has helped you if you're on a course i hope this would help you if not do a little bit of research as well and you'll might make a little bit more sense of what i've just said or it might help you understand what i've just said because to be honest i'm not really prepared i've got all pictures and all that but you don't really need it it's quite simple really and i hope you get on well all right see you guys